right, so this is LCM-13. LCM stands for Landing Craft Mechanized. We call them uh, a mic boat for short. They're also direct descendants of the uh, Higgins boat, just like the LCUs are. Uh, the Higgins boat, they're around 36 feet, and these are about 73 feet. Also a little wider, you can see in the back, the, uh, the con of the craft is placed exactly like the Higgins boat. So it, it's essentially the exact same craft, just a little bit bigger and can carry more uh, cargo and personnel. Troop-wise, you can do about 110 combat-ready personnel. So combat-ready, that means they have uh, themselves, obviously, and then they also have all of their gear and stuff like that inside the well deck. Non-combat troops, that means no gear or anything like that. You can carry about 130. Well deck-wise, we can carry 160 tons, and to put that into uh, relevance, that's about one M1 A1 Abram tank. So you can fit one of those in there, or you can do about six Humvees in there. Speed, you can do about 12 knots in this, unloaded. Loaded, you can probably do between nine and 10 knots. All right, we're gonna go hop on the boat and we'll continue this tour. Alrighty, on the craft, this right here is our well deck. This is where we keep all of our cargo, such as personnel, vehicles, or whatever we're uh, carrying. Uh, see, this right here is our engine room. Go down there, we have two Detroit 12V71 engines. They're about 450 horsepower each. Uh, let's see, right here on the sides, we have two uh, 50 cal machine gun mounts. And on this craft, we have four crew members. Our first one is the coxswain, that's myself. Uh, the coxswain's essentially overall in charge of the entire craft. Um, we're, we're responsible for just making sure the mission gets done, making sure the crew's safe while doing it. Uh, besides me, we have the qualified engineer. Um, he, he basically maintains the engineering plan, making sure everything's running smooth. And uh, we also have two deck hands. Uh, they're basically our line handlers. All right, I showed you guys the uh, outside of the craft. Now we're gonna hop in the con where I stay most of the time and uh, actually operate the craft. So this is the con. This is where I spend most of my time on the craft, actually driving and operating. This whole area right here, these are all the controls I use to drive and maneuver. Basically, the whole use of this boat for the MPF, the Maritime Prepositioning Force mission, is ship to shore movement. So, if we're overseas and we need to get uh, cargo from the ship to the shore to where we're going, uh, we, we basically use these craft, just load troops, vehicles, any kind of cargo that they can get on here. They lower this to us uh, from the ship and we'll, we'll take that a few miles to the shore. Uh, let's see, another use that we have for these craft is uh, hurricane relief and just, just overall disaster relief. So we can take these on ships once again and we can go to, uh, say, say, countries that have been hit by natural disasters. And we can go and we can use these craft for the same thing. We can load supplies, food, water, anything we can on here and we can take it to um, anywhere that we can access to get it to people that are in need. Let's uh, step out of the con, back onto the main deck, and we're gonna conclude this tour of the mic boat. All right, everyone, that's gonna conclude our uh, tour of LCM-13. Thanks for watching. Welcome to another episode of the House of Wolverine. This week, we'll be taking a look at the advanced weapons elevators aboard USS Gerald R. Ford. Good day, I'm uh, Lieutenant Donnie uh, 
uh, James, uh, Jared R. Ford's advanced weapon elevators officer. And my job here is pretty much to manage and maintain uh, Ford class advanced weapon elevators uh, from operating to doing maintenance and just upkeep all elevators we have on board here on Ford. On board the ship here, we have 11 total weapons elevators, advanced weapon elevators. That'll be four um, for upper stage, upper stage weapons elevators, seven lower stage elevators. Um, upper stage elevators are pretty much the ones that service the flight deck and down to the uh, transfer area. As you see here, we're in the uh, aft weapons handling transfer area. Uh, so we have four of those elevators uh, that service from the flight deck to the transfer area. The lower stage elevators primarily go from the hangar bay uh, or main deck area down to your magazines. That's the primary difference. So it goes from anywhere from uh, the magazines up to the hangar bay or from the transfer area up to the flight deck, completely cutting out, eliminating having to handle ordnance within the hangar bay and in the mess decks as you would see on the Nimitz class. Uh, the unique thing about four class uh, AWEs is it's all electromagnetic. Uh, we don't have the hydraulic system and the, the wire ropes and pulley system as we would have on Nimitz class. All electrical, PLC driven, uh, electromagnetic uh, propelled vehicles that move uh, platforms from between the decks. And we have two additional elevators that uh, Nimitz class don't have. Uh, utility is an uh, additional elevator. It's a primary medevac elevator and um, can also use cargo, uh, weapons as well, stores, mail, things like that.